Here you see a Dell Powervault 124T. Unfortunately, this unit has a multiple failed hardware components. And a tape is stuck inside. If you're faced with a similar situation, I'm here to present you with the solution. As you can see on this unit, the tape magazine is over here. This is the control panel and uh, where you'll insert the tapes. This is a library component that will take tapes from the magazine and put them into the drive. This is our drive component and the power supply. On this unit, it was completely dead and the uh, it would not power up. Fortunately, if you look back here, you will see that the 124T tape drive uses a standard Molex connector to receive power. So, we took off the case top here, exposing all of these components. Removed the three screws from this unit so that we could access the autoloader mechanism. And then used one of these external hard drive bays that has a Molex connector on it. If it's one of the new SATA bays, they may have the SATA power on it, so you have to use an older IDE model. We also used a Molex extension cable because it was a bit hard to fit the cable back down in here. After disconnecting the uh, interface cable, we plugged the power in there, fired it up, and the drive uh, started up as well. You can see the lights on the front and the tape rewound back to the beginning. Now in order to get the tape out, there is a small button down here. We'll see if I can point it out to you. It's right in this hole here. You have to press that button and then the tape will eject. And this is why we removed this piece here so that we could access the button and once the tape spits out we can retrieve it from the unit. And that's all you have to do.